Hello class, let's learn science with teacher Yas. Today, we will learn about acid and alkali. There are many substances around us, whether edible or inedible. There are acidic, alkaline, and neutral substances around us. How can we determine if a substance is acidic, alkaline, or neutral? We can test the properties of each substance, whether it is acidic, alkaline, or neutral by using litmus paper. There are two types of litmus paper, red litmus paper and blue litmus paper. Litmus paper is an indicator that changes color when tested. Acidic substance will change the color of blue litmus paper to red. Alkaline substance will change the color of red litmus paper to blue, while neutral substance will not change the color of both litmus paper. Okay class, let's carry out an experiment to test for acidic, alkaline and neutral substances. Firstly, we will test the tamarind solution. Can you notice the blue litmus paper has changed to red? Now, we will test the salt solution. To test a dry material, we need to add a certain amount of water to make it a solution. Litmus paper cannot show changes if tested on a dry material. Can you notice the both litmus papers do not change color? Now, we will test the properties of lemon. What can you observe, class? Yes, the blue litmus paper has changed to red. Now, we will test the vinegar solution.
we can observe that the blue litmus paper has changed to red. Now, we will test the soda bicarbonate. Add some water to the soda bicarbonate to make it a solution. We can observe that the red litmus paper has changed to blue. Now, we will test the properties of detergent. Detergent changes the red litmus paper to blue. And now, we will test the properties of sugar. Add some water to the sugar to make it a sugar solution. The both litmus papers do not change color. And now we will test the properties of toothpaste. We can observe that the red litmus paper has changed to blue. Lastly, we will test the properties of tomato. Tomato changes the blue litmus paper to red. These are the results that we have obtained from the previous investigation. Tamarind changes the color of litmus paper from blue to red. This shows tamarind is acidic. Salt does not change color on both litmus papers. Salt is neutral. Lemon turns litmus paper blue to red. Lemon is acidic. Toothpaste turns litmus paper red to blue. Toothpaste is alkaline.
Sugar does not change color on both litmus papers. Sugar is neutral. Soda bicarbonate turns litmus paper red to blue. Soda bicarbonate is alkaline. Vinegar changes the color of litmus paper from blue to red. Vinegar is acidic. Detergent turns litmus paper red to blue. Detergent is alkaline. Tomato changes the color of litmus paper from blue to red. This shows that tomato is acidic. We can classify these substances into three groups. S, acidic, alkaline, and neutral. Tamarind, lemon, vinegar, and tomato are acidic. Toothpaste, soda bicarbonate, and detergent are alkaline. Salt and sugar are neutral. Besides litmus paper, we can also determine the properties of substances using our senses of taste and touch, although these are not scientific indicators. Acidic substances contain chemical substance that has a sour taste. Many food items such as lemons, curd, vinegar and orange taste sour because of the presence of acid in them. Acidic substances also have burning sensation when touched. Alkaline substances Most alkaline substances taste bitter. It is also feel slippery when touched. Neutral substances Neutral substances have different tastes such as tasteless, sweet, and salty. It may feel slippery or coarse when touched. But always keep in mind class, bitter substances are not always alkaline and sour substances are not always acidic. For example, coffee tastes bitter, but when it tested with blue litmus paper, the color changed to red. That means that the coffee is acidic, not alkaline. That's all for today, class. Thanks for watching and listening. Happy learning and good luck to all of you. Bye.